Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Myth Busting Mondays. Today, we are going to find out the difference between a cocoon and a chrysalis. Let's see what we can find out about it. Welcome to the aviary once more and I am here again with my friend Misty. You met her a couple weeks ago. Today's myth is uh, butterflies emerge from cocoons. Now, I'm sure many of you have used that word interchangeably with butterflies and mobs, but there is actually a difference, am I right? Yes. A um, moth will come out of a cocoon. A cocoon is made by the caterpillar with glands by the mouth. Okay. Um, sometimes can be created by leaves stacking together also. Okay, so when they are creating this cocoon, it's like a silk. Yeah, yeah. and so probably too, um, when they're even putting leaves together, that's kind of what they use to like sew it almost. I don't know if sewing is the right word, but like stick it together, because I would assume that the um, cocoon, the silk is a little sticky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. so it probably mm -hmm. helps to bind those leaves for the ones that actually use leaves. Uh -huh. If you're out, out in the woods and you see something that you think is a cocoon, how, that's one of the ways you can tell, oh this is a cocoon because it looks like it's made out of silk threads or it has leaves bound together. Yeah. So let's talk about what is it called that a butterfly emerges from? A butterfly will emerge from a chrysalis. Okay. And what is that? What's the difference? What's it made out of? Chrysalis is the extraskeleton of the pupa. Okay. Now, a butterfly will have silk also. Yeah. It will hang the, the chrysalis with silk. So when you see a chrysalis hanging on a leaf or on a tree or someplace like that, they've used a silk thread much like um, a moth would, but mm -hmm. their actual chrysalis is, is made of something completely different. So it's yes. part of the butterfly or the pre-butterfly. Uh -huh. Okay, so between the caterpillar yeah, that caterpillar. stage between that. If you guys come to the Butterfly Palace here in Branson, Missouri, you can actually come and maybe, if they're actually emerging, see a butterfly emerge out of a chrysalis. We do have hundreds of chrysalises that you can look at, or chrysalids, which, which is it? Call them okay. chrysalids. Okay, so you can come and see all the chrysalids and possibly see a butterfly emerge out of them. So it's really an interesting thing to watch because, um, you know, you don't get to see that very often. So I think that we busted that myth, right? It's not, butterflies do not emerge from cocoons. No. It is from a chrysalis. It is the moths yes. that emerge from the cocoon. Right. See, you learn something new all the time. All right, guys, we will see you next time on the next episode of Myth Busting Monday. Monday.